Good after 4 p.m. redneck uh, warriors and uh, mechanics and do-it-yourselfers. I got a project that I've been working on little by little, making improvements over the years. Uh, you might have heard that I've got a special needs son, so he couldn't ride a bicycle by himself. So uh, his uncle and his grandmother bought him a trike. And that's where we started from. It's a two-man side-by-side trike double coaster, double three speed Shimano internal hub. And here's what we got. So we got 24 inch rear wheels. This is a made by Worksman company. They are the oldest manufacturer in the USA of USA built bicycle, tricycles and such. Mostly trikes. I don't know what they got as far as a bicycle, but tricycle, anyway. What we've got here is uh, double chain, double shifter, and that's where the modification started years ago. I put a golden motor. This is when the internet was in its infancy. Um, about five, six, seven years ago, I put the golden motor twist shift. Uh, 48 volt. Well, it started as a 24 and it didn't have enough guts. But what is comes with is the control pack, which is in this uh, nylon pouch, 24 inch wheel in this case with a, I think it was a 1000 hu uh, watt hub. And uh, of course, it's part of the wheel. So you just put your tire on there and your, and your tube. And the biggest problem is stopping. It'll go about 20, but these caliper brakes, of course, didn't work. So I rigged up, I rigged up some disc brakes, which is kind of Mickey Mouse. Uh, the rotor is okay, but the caliper comes with a cheap loop clamp, and the loop clamp tends to spin around on the shaft. That is the lower, the single fork side. It, uh, it's got a heavier bracket behind here that hooks on the dropout part of the axle or just behind the dropout on the axle But the little loop doesn't keep it from being pulled the top in to hit the uh, Actually, it rubs on the, the hub if you really crank down on it. So what I did is I put a pin uh, drilled a hole right there with that flathead screw and She is good enough to go probably need a real a real fork with the heavy duty welded tabs but that's where we're at right now and uh, had a, some dry rotted uh, cable ties put new ones on we got a Harbor Freight flashlight headlight works pretty good see and be seen well mostly be seen we're not a dot of dark and um, we got that going I put a threshold up for him, a piece of threshold and two muffler clamps, two and a quarters, and that fit perfectly over the frame. That gives him a place to put his feet. I used to have a little piece of lightweight tubing all the way in the very back towards the seat upright, but uh, he would get a, a little bit, uh, his feet would slide off and then he'd be just hanging his feet, so that never worked out well. Got an old seat belt from Old Plymouth. You can also buy this stuff from Worksman. And then here we got our batteries. The first few years I used four Garden tractor batteries, which worked okay, but the warranty has gone down so to three months. So I went ahead and got Walmart one-year batteries, uh, Group 26 in the front with each. And then we have the the two garden batteries in the back. One is a 300 amper from, actually it's a six month from Sam's that I bought a year ago. This one's a 2019 230 amp from Walmart for, I think they're like 20 or 25 at this point. And each tire has a, has uh, the inner tubes made by slime, uh, full of slime. So that's the way to go. You don't want to have any chances of failing if you can avoid it. 
I also have a Harbor Freight $25 air pump and my extra inner tubes are in a pouch in front of that. So I have one 24 and a 20 in this little pouch forward. So we went on a 10 mile ride last week. Oh, uh, last few days ago, we made it home on the original four tractor batteries. And here's my little flashing Harbor Freight $3 triangle. At any rate, uh, I've got also the $30 Walmart uh, not Walmart, but Harbor Freight toolbox in the back. Because I did have a problem at one point where that caliper in the front wheel decided to rotate. Uh, I just pivot into the into the rotor and caused me to be jammed right where I was. Had no tools, so I got the tool kit right away. What's really cool about this: the steering can be uh, this. You can you can adjust it left or right if you want to whatever driver does most of the driving I guess um, the Shimano internal three-speed hubs I just rebuilt this one because it they don't stop real great because this thing is uh, with two people is over 500 pound you know if you got a, a hundred pound and a 200 pound that's three I think the bike goes for 450 I mean 150 that makes 450 and then your batteries, so you're over 500. So coaster brakes don't really work, but the disc that I did use does work fairly well. Only thing else I need is a rear view mirror that would help me. I moved the armrest both to his chair. You can get, uh, usually it comes with two on the outer outboards, but I moved my outboard to his inboard. And you can also buy more of those if you want four. Uh, this was purchased, used. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it on the trike. And uh, we are having fun with it. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, then if you would uh, like to ch uh, get something like this for uh, somebody in your family, Check out Worksman Cycles or search for used. And uh, that's the way to go because they get quite pricey. You can also order them with electric hubs directly from Worksman. But again, that's another eleven or $1,200 on top of the purchase of the, of the bike the trike itself. So at any rate, uh, please like and subscribe and share and hit the bell button. It'll give you an alert showing that there is a new video from Redneck Channel. And I hope I have uh, earned your subscription today. Thank you. Good night and goodbye.